Hey all, welcome to the Parker's Reefs. In today's episode, I'm gonna take you through the final fish delivery of the year, and it's an absolute cracker. So let's go get into it. All right, tank number one. Got a whole swarm of Australian stripies. These guys are a little bit smaller than we've seen lately, and um, they're super cute. Unfortunately, they don't stay super cute forever, but uh, they are Aptasia eating machines, but they are also coral eating machines. So uh, if you've got an Aptasia problem, get these bad boys in there, they'll sort it out, but uh, keep an eye on it, because as soon as they finish those Aptasias, and maybe even before they finish the Aptasia, they'll start munching away at your corals. But uh, what a cool little fish in the uh, meantime. Got a uh, lovely Diana hog there. It's gonna move nice and fast for us on the camera just to uh, make me earn my, uh, earn my money. Beautiful fish though. There is a whole heap of these uh, lawnmower blennies just max and relax and these are Western Australian guys. So uh, technically they're a peacock. You know peacock algae blenny. But uh, otherwise known as, <laughs> to the uh, less educated folks, such as myself, as a uh, lawnmower blenny. Stunning little coltang over there, yellow eye coltang. Got a uh, bird nose wrasse, fearing for his life from this uh, swarm of Australian stripies, but I'm sure he'll be fine. Looks like a uh, lovely little flasher wrasse in there. Australian stripies keep stealing the focus of the camera. But uh, let's pop up to check out these guys. This is something I don't know if I've ever seen before, and if I have, I can't remember them. These absolutely crazy sailfin catfish. I'm not sure how well the uh, white, the vibrance of the white stripe is picking up on camera, but uh, it is absolutely glowing, like, like it's illuminated. You can see the white of the bannerfish up there compared to the white stripe of these uh, sailfin catfish. It's uh, chalk and cheese, these guys are just absolutely popping in color, despite being black and white. Now, I am told that these guys get pretty big, about the size of a shoe, and uh, are also fairly aggressive, but um, it's still cool to see something different nonetheless. Are they any good at eating algae, or are they just nah. <laughs> predator fish? So yeah, they're not gonna eat algae, forget the, uh, the look of them you'd think with those uh, tentacles and the catfish nature, they might uh, swarm about cleaning algae. They do not. They are just a uh, crazy looking predator fish. But um, if you have a predator tank, wow. Something different to add. Just a few more of the uh, Western Australian lawnmower blennies there chilling out. They look like they're about to drop the uh, most vicious album of uh, 2020, the way they're all posing there. But um, I'm assuming they won't. Check out this guy, what a stunning wrasse. Beautiful coloration, little banner fish there. What we got here, it looks like a beautiful platinum clown. There is his partner over here, there she is. Beautiful fish. In here, the fish, the most asked about fish from a couple of weeks ago when we had two that were pre-sold is uh, the porcupine, fush porcupine puffers, not fuffers. Porcupine puffer fish, and uh, there's no shortage of them in at the moment heaps of these guys just uh, hamming it up for the camera as they do. It's crazy scorpion just sitting down here looking like he wants to rip me a new one. There is this uh, Izu hogfish. Beautiful, beautiful specimen. Kicks about pretty actively. It's a lovely lionfish there. And uh, this guy here, he's a type of cod. <laughs> Don't mind the uh, puffer coming in to steal the uh, focus off the camera. That cod's pretty cool. There's also a uh, bicolor blenny in there. Just trying to blend in with the silicon in the corner of the tank as you do. Now I come down to uh, some margin butterflies, not to be confused with copper bands, despite looking very, very similar. <laughs> just missing that extra copper band there. What else we got? We got some uh, midnight clowns. They are not the midnight clowns. They are the... Uh, Citron gobies, that is a midnight clown there. And there's uh, the partner, super cool fish. Rass there, another rass uh, just waking up as the lights are turning on. 
Got a uh, Royal Grammar, another very, very popular fish over the last few weeks. Everyone asking for Royal Grammars. There's an absolutely beautiful, very uh, active and inquisitive little character there. These guys can be a little cryptic, but uh, that one's out and about. A super cool Blenny up there. What is he? Starry Blenny, is it? With yeah. a stripe? Starry. Yeah, cool as. Love the way that stripe goes right through his eyes. Awesome. Oh, hang on. The starry would be the spotty one, yeah? Spotty, yep. That's, that's the starry. What's this guy? Yep, starry. Starry. And it's the Western Australian version of the tiger. Ah, it's a Western Australian Some version of the tiger. The WA tiger the other companies have got a whole different name. Right, right. He is cool as. Not to take anything away from the starry, he's pretty cool too, but uh, this WA variant of a uh, Tiger Blenny is uh, crazy. Got some uh, pipe fish in. Some people love them, some people not a fan. Not a huge fan myself, but uh, I guess they are a bit different. Got uh, some nice black seahorses in, some more uh, little coral gobies. We've got yellow over there. We got uh, black hiding in the corner down here pop over here into some uh, lyre tail anthias, plenty of those guys in there, some glass cardinals, got the half black angelfish, got the uh, Fiji fox face there, more blennies down there, that dude's just trying to bury himself under a bit of sand, well at least shroud himself in some sand, uh, what's this, a cream angel? Super cool patterns on that guy. Very, very nice fish. Pop up here, let's see, we've got a uh, big puffer there. Stars and stripe puffer. Yellow tang. Rass in the background there. A brownfields rass. Looks like a so hole. Fairly small so hole. This dude's just the uh, boss of the tank in waiting. Blue green cardinals. Powder blue tang if I haven't touched on him yet. Come over here to the anthias that I get wrong every single week, but uh, if I focus in on the tag, it will remind me to dispar anthia or disper anthia, depending on how you like to pronounce it. Depends how much of an Australian ocker slang you have. Beautiful little fish. Interesting blenny here. What do we got? Fuscus Blenny, Fuscus, yeah. Fuscus, Fucus, Mucus, <laughs> it's not a Mucus Blenny, beautiful little pair of uh, Clarky Clowns in here, there they are, there was another pair, a bigger pair, but uh, these little uh, smaller guys are still here, beautiful fish, you can see a couple of bicolor Blennies there, just uh, Max and relaxing, trying to keep out of the camera's view, come down here into the absolute gigantic bird nose wrasse, this dude, thankfully, is up and about now. When I came in a few minutes ago, he was trying his best to lay under that uh, little bridge under the, the pipe there, pretending that uh, we couldn't see him. We've got uh, everyone's favorite, the uh, molly that um, has been acclimated to salt water for uh, food, live eating purposes for the eel, and uh, now spends 23.98 hours of his day rounding up these uh, glass cardinals. Absolute boss of a unit. Uh, that being interesting, said, this uh, lionfish is showing a little bit of interest in uh, looking like he could eat him. So uh, perhaps the molly's days are numbered. I highly doubt it, but uh, you never know. And uh, this dude here, this eel, he's been here for a little while. And um, despite being probably the most fearsome fish in this tank, the uh, molly has been known to take food out of his mouth. So maybe he's a big softy, but I have seen him eat. He is pretty aggressive, but uh, obviously does not enjoy mollies all that much pop up into here got a swarm of uh, cleaner wrasse in which is cool sorry cleaner wrasse cleaner shrimp haven't seen cleaner shrimp in with this kind of numbers for a while so it's good to see plenty of them back in got some gigantic trochus here extra extra large trochus you can see the uh, cleaner shrimp behind one there absolutely massive and to give you a uh, indication of the size of them there's some uh, multi-head torches there being dwarfed by uh, trochus there's also a manta shrimp in there. All right, pop her over to this tank. We've got a couple of beautiful little uh, sail fin tangs. Such a stunning fish. I never really 
Well, I do understand now that uh, they're reasonably priced because they're, uh, they're able to be collected from a number of areas and that they're relatively easy to collect, I understand, but um, such a beautiful fish for such little dollars. Love the way they send that fin up, obviously, to get uh, their namesake in the sail fin. Got this cute little cleaner ass. Very nice specimen of a yellow tang. We did have trouble with uh, yellow tangs boxing on with each other just because of the raw numbers of them that we have in. So we've had to separate them out across multiple tanks. This guy must be one of the aggressive ones because he doesn't, uh, either that or he's healed very, very quickly because uh, he doesn't show a marking at all. Uh, which uh, <laughs> considering the amount of aggression they were showing towards each other, it's got to show that he's probably at the top of the pecking order. Got some beautiful uh, gobies in here, fire gobies. These two seem to be pretty comfortable with each other. Another stunning little wrasse up there. Black ice? Clowns? Black snowflake. Black snowflake. Some sort of black frozen. <laughs> Treat clowns. Nice medium sized standard fox face in there. I love those fish. Popping down here, we've got uh, some uh, Bangai Cardinals, seriously underrated such a uh, unique style of fish. Big file fish in there. Got a uh, absolute ripper of a uh, Naso Tang. Little trigger there, some standard clowns. And what do we got here? Yellow tile fish? Yep. Yeah, fairly unique. Reef safe or not, Dave? Yeah. Wow. Gonna have to do some research into the yellow tilefish. Pretty cool looking unit. He's got a decent sized jaw on him. Crazy. All right, what do we got over here? Let's start at the top. Some stunning wrasse. <laughs> Looks like the uh, blonde lipstick wants uh, the camera's attention, so we'll give it to him or her looking at the tail. Gorgeous little bicolor blenny down here. Perhaps the yellow tangs have just healed very quickly because they were uh, nipping away at each other, but they're all looking quite good today, so that's a good sign. What sort of, uh, let's see, filefish, the yellow filefish? Hiding behind the angel there. Bit of a variant from your uh, standard Aptasia eating gray colored filefish. Little angel there, blending in with the blue background of the tank nicely. Yes, you are there clownfish. I got gotcha. you. Stunning little platinum clown. Bicolor angel. Blue tang trying to play dead. And another stunning angel. Beautiful emperor angel. Look at the markings on that guy. It's crazy. Panel down to this one, we've got, uh, let's see, over this side, we've got the blue ring angel. Another bicolor angel, Moorish idol. Some more yellow tangs, coal tangs. Another blonde lipstick. Another little sail fin there. And uh, the king angel, where is, there he is. That's what we're after. What a cool fish. Beautiful colors and markings on that guy there. Fair size unit and fair attitude too, looking at him. He looks like he knows the name King doesn't come without uh, a little bit of an ego, I guess. And um, that dude definitely embodies it. What a unit. Pop up here, we've got uh, some Da Vinci clowns, I believe. Fairly unique markings on those guys. A couple of powder blues. Scopas, another seriously underrated fish for the uh, money. Really cool markings on those guys. Little baby sailfin, some uh, blue-green chromis. Clown tang there, fairly small guy. Again, he'll grow and become the absolute boss of the tank. He's uh, just doing his juice at the moment, laying low in the back corner. Come on down here. What do we got here? What type of anthias are these, Dave? Gets... Bleeding heart, tricolor. Got a few different names. 
bleeding heart or tricolours here, right. Another one I'm going to have to do some research on. Uh, is this a Mimic Tang in here? Yep. Hoo -hoo, I got one right. <laughs> a couple of Rass, a couple more uh, Picasso Clowns. And uh, the Angel's a... A Quran, yeah, that's the one that always tricks me. Well, it's one of the ones that always tricks me. All right. These are the fish I'm super keen to see because these are the ones that may actually make it into my tank. Well, one of them at least. Some beautiful Lenardi Rass. These guys from WA. They do grow quite big, but uh, they've got such contrasting colors with the blue and yellow. Really cool little markings on them too. Beautiful fish. They've got these very unique try and get the camera to focus on them, the seahorse, the Barburi seahorse. I'm going to butcher the pronunciation of that, but uh, let's go with spiky seahorse. This little chocolate goby there. Just going to feed these, uh, these antheas a bit of pellet. Frozen. Frozen. For the Lenardi. Oh, for the Lenardi, yes. Yeah, they're actively picking it off. Very nice. What type of anthias were these again, Dave? Bicolor. Bicolor, that's right. Yep, yep. Not to be confused with the ones in the tank above. You see these guys have got uh, sort of the uh, pearl colored belly, orange top, and then this super, super vibrant color in their uh, fin, which just really pops. You can see the uh, Lenardi are having uh, no issues at all <laughs> cleaning up that fair feed of uh, frozen food. I nearly forgot one of my favorite fish in here, the flame hawk. He came right up to the <laughs> right up to the glass end to remind me. All right, let's have a look up here. We've got the uh, yellow assessors in there. Banana wrasses over here. Got the forceps butterfly. Came right to the front, couple of those guys there. We have a red spot blenny. Another flame hawk. And these guys were not bicolors, were they? These antheas up the top. Those two are a solid this Ah, these two, yeah. No wonder you keep tricking me. I'm like, I can't tell the difference. They look the same. <laughs> I incorrectly named the antheas in this tank last time. So Dave sold them and then moved some of the uh, bicolors up here just to trick me further. But uh, cool, cool fish. All right, we're getting there. Flame Hawk, two spot bristle tooth tang. Nice little pair of Flame Hawks there. Some chocolate gobies, sunburst anthea. And then I'm not quite sure how well the camera is going to pick up the colors of these, but uh, check out the Purple Queen Antheas. Huge, huge units with crazy coloring. I'll uh, adjust the colors a little bit on screen just so you can really see what they look like in person. Super, super cool fish. We've got a uh, long fin goby. I assume that's that guy there. And triple spot blenny. Very cool. All right, an Australian specialty, the Harlequin Tusk. What a beautiful specimen this one is. Such a healthy looking, healthy looking fish. Beautiful colors, markings. A couple of Vanderbilt Chromis. The Scots Rass up here too, if I can see if I can get him on camera. What a beautiful fish. <laughs> a little bit scared of the Harlequin. He's a good sized unit though, so we shouldn't be too scared. A couple of very, very pretty white cheek tanks here that are still uh, working out who's the boss of this tank. They obviously like a little bit more room <laughs> than, uh, than uh, you, would, you wouldn't generally keep uh, two white spot tanks, uh, white cheek tanks in, um, in a tank this size. So they're just uh, working out the pecking order. Hopefully we can move one or both of those on today so they don't have to uh, stress over who's going to be the boss. Check out the uh, 
just the colours and the, the markings around the face, around the mouth, the uh, white banding around there, just beautiful. Very, very nice. And the uh, Christmas Rats here, another good size unit. Very, very nice. Okay, Cooper's Anthias, and no shortage of them. Holy moly, I'm not going to try and count them. There must be 40 or 50 or 60 in there. Lovely fish, little baby blue tang. Uh, let's see if we can spot the Cooper's Anthia. Oh, there's a flame hawk hiding up behind the uh, bubbles. Beautiful. Another harlequin tusk here. Another chocolate goby. There is a Watanabe angel down there. This big hogfish. I haven't quite identified what he is yet. I got some crazy pictures of him the other week and um, generated a bit of interest, but uh, I don't know exactly what species he is. <laughs> you can see how much he opened his mouth then would suggest that he's probably not going to be uh, all that friendly with smaller fish, or definitely not with uh, shrimp or snails perhaps, but um, what a cool dude. And the last two fish tanks. Whole swarm of fire gobies. Zebra Angel. A couple of Lyre Tails. Shrimp Gobi Pairs. Try and get some close-up footage of them because it's uh, pretty cool to see. Shrimp is hella busy. Backing up into his Gobi friend there. Super cool. Beautiful, and then up to these guys here. Painted Anthias are just absolutely stunning. You see how they get the name Painted Anthias because they just look like they've been splashed with various colors. Really, really cool. Another, uh, this is not a Diana hog, is it? This one's different. Bicolor. Bicolor hog, yeah. And what are the... Uh, Sergeant Major Damsels, yeah, right. Kind of look like a baby convict tang. With a little splash of yellow on top. They look angry, yeah? <laughs> I mean, if you're a, a damsel and you get the name Sergeant Major, chances are you're not going to be a little shy wallflower. Beautiful. Just before we finish up on the fish, I've got to show you over here some of the... Uh, cutest little uh, porcelain crabs. Some slightly larger porcelain crabs. Some more porcelain crabs. This one in a little uh, pizza nem or sticky nem. Pizza. S super cool. All right, guys, we might wrap things up there. Thank you so much for joining along in this video and a huge shout out to Deer Park Aquarium for letting me walk around and film all their stock even when I don't know the names of everything. As always, guys, if you have any questions, comments, feedback, pop it in the section down below. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you are yet to do so, please hit that subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner. Till next time, guys, stay safe, keep reefing. Cheers, bye.